Hello, everybody. Today, we're going to talk about teaching AI and machine learning in 10 minutes. I'm Professor Ponaparte from University of Colorado. We're going to talk about Ponaparte Interactive AI. Before we go to AI and machine learning, it's important to mention the line timeline for the innovation and technology. We face three economic revolution, agricultural revolution in 1650, industrial revolution in 1760 in Europe, and technology revolution, the new one we believe in the beginning of the 90s. And the technology revolution passed four phases. The first phase is PC with the Moore's law. And then we have the internet and then cloud and mobile. And then the fourth phase is the AI. That takes us to Charles Darwin theory that the species who survive all of these millions of years are not the smallest, not the strongest, not the fastest, and not the biggest, but the most adaptable and the most innovative animal species survive this world. So innovation and adaption is a critical. Now we're gonna go to the artificial intelligence. AI has a three generation, narrow, general, and super. Narrow AI, which is the one we have in chat GPT, part AI, all of those, basically you feed the system and the system respond to your feed. And then you feed more, the system respond to you and you feed more. Here's a game that we play it a lot. This is a narrow uh, AI. Uh, if you play it wrong, then the system can beat you. If you play chess game, chat GPT, the same. You feed the system, the system give you outside. This technology AI supported by two main themes. The number one is CNN, conventional uh, neural network. The second one is large language model. So chat GPT used these two technologies to do that. Then the general generation, AGI, artificial general intelligence, we didn't have that yet. We're entering the second phase of the of AI revolution, like the second generation. It's a general. We didn't know it, but here I, I did some writing about it to think about it. The third generation, we have some ideas about it. It's a super intelligent, super intelligent AI or artificial super intelligent. And here is a movie by Tom Cruise in Minority Report. If you watch this movie, this uh, she is a super intelligent AI. She asked him to buy the umbrella. She asked Tom Cruise to buy the umbrella. He doesn't know why. But because Tom Cruise in that movie was followed by the cops, he's running away from the cops, and it's going to be raining also on that day. So the super intelligent knows it's going to be raining soon. So they left the mall, and the cops trying to see Tom Cruise, where is he? And they cannot find him because he hide by under the umbrella because there are some raining. So that's what I'm, we have with the um, super intelligence. Now we go to machine learning, and this is the the core of artificial intelligence. The key core is the machine learning. So artificial intelligence is the, the domain, a subset is machine learning. There are three types of machine learning. One supervised learning, one unsupervised learning, and one reinforcement. We're gonna start with the supervised learning. In the supervised learning, you know your X's, you know your Y's. Like you know what's happening and you know what the outcome. So for example, if you take delete this, this suppose X is VEX. Today VEX is 28, which is a fair index. The stock market was like 28, and then add this. Second day, VEX is negative two. The stock market went down, let's assume negative one. Add it. So every time you update the data, you got um let's assume VEX is 25, stock market negative two. Add so every time you update the data, the, the, the system gives you the relationship R squared, the fitness of the model, the correlation between X and Y, and the slope for, for this. So any data that you use that has an X and Y observed X and observed Y, that we call it machine learning, supervised learning, and we have that in this model. The second model is unsupervised learning. Suppose you go to Whole Food and you buy something on Monday, and then second Monday you bought those, third Monday you bought those. Whole food have an AI to determine what's gonna be your basket next Monday. And based on their, this, they can uh, store the, the, the grocery store with the product you're gonna have. Like for example, you can play here. You can add, for example, uh, beer here you wanna have, and maybe beef, Monday night football. And then here you wanna add in the second Monday, and again, beer. Uh, so, 
So the system starts seeing that in Mondays, you Monday night football, you start buying beer and beef, for example. So the system, you tell them what you spent in the first three, in the last three Mondays, and the AI prediction for the next Monday. So these grocery stores can use it when we call that unsupervised learning. Unsupervised learning because you know your X, which is a receipt, but we didn't know that Y is the outcome. So we looked at the data through pattern. We see what patterns you have in the data. Like in this month is you do this, and this month is you doing that. So the, from this pattern, we can have prediction of the future. The third model of machine learning is Tesla use it a lot, and it has to do with the uh, uh, reinforcement learning, learning reinforcement. So what is that here? Uh, suppose you want to drive from your home to your uh, to your uh, office. You start from here, and then there is a different roads. So the system will try to navigate different roads to get to where you want to be from the start to the end. Now suppose you want to drive to um, traveling to a hotel, for example. Now this and, and using Tesla driving autonomous autonomous driving, for example. And then a deer came while you're driving. This is not in the system. But the system will impact, respond immediately because we call it reinforced learning. The system is learned to go through this road. But if somebody went across the street or a deer or somebody accidentally with the bike went across you, so the system will stop immediately. So why? It reinforce the learning. You can go from this, but oh, oh, there is a problem here. You stop and you try to navigate through your problem. We call this reinforcement. Now, these are the technology we have in AI how we can use this technology. And here is two examples I did that I wanna do. One with the unsupervised learning and one with supervised learning. We're gonna do AI in finance. I created a model here to use the Google Trend for five key, no, uh, key terms, net, no, network, large language, model machine learning, generative AI, deep learning, uh, and others. And then you put a company here, like NVIDIA, and you say, like, Put any company like Apple, what's it? Apple AAPL update. So what you do here is you give it the sensitivity of Apple to AI. So I did Google Trend. I find data from Google Trend. And I ask how much sensitive this to Apple. And I we did that using a model, AI mo machine learning model, and we get a score for Apple. The highest we have is Microsoft, the highest score, and the lowest. Some companies are low, so negative. So I think, I thought, I find this to be the highest. The third model that I would like to talk about it is political sensitivity. Suppose a company, like take any company like Apple, Microsoft, are they better off when Democrat in power or Republican in power? So we'll look at the retain, which is our, our Y axis retain, equal A plus beta, beta is a company risk basically, multiplied by risk free, risk premium model market, which is market retain minus RF. Uh, which is a bond or a fixed income, plus theta D, which is a political sensitivity multiplied by the political cycle, whether Democrat or Republican. You didn't need to do anything here. You just put the ticker here. For example, if you have Meta, you'll get probably four, four, favored by Democrat. If you put a company like Tesla, are they better off than Democrat or Republican? So Tesla also better than Democrat. So the positive, this is a zero neutral. Above this, become to be favored by Democrat. To the left, favored by Republican. For example, JP Morgan. The JP Morgan in this case favored by uh, Republican. It depends what data sample you're taking in your uh, model here. We took the data from 1993. Now some companies have an IPO before af after 93. I can like uh, Meta and Tesla 2012. So this help us with using the supervised learning to get political sensitivity. Thank you so much. I think we explain innovation technology, the, the four three revolution and the four phases. We went to artificial intelligence, narrow, general, and super, and we super intelligent. We went to machine learning, supervised, unsupervised, and reinforcement, and then we use application for machine learning. Here's another application. Thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy the video.